In today's devotional video, I have considered trying to revamp some of the devotional series I've been doing. Uh, I've been following along this book from Max Licato called In the Manger, 25 uh, Insp Inspirational Selections for Advent. And uh, I've sort of taken uh, what he has had to say and made it my own and added thoughts, taken away thoughts, and uh, just tried to keep from, from copy and pasting from him and doing my best to reword what he has to say. And, uh, and today, as I've, as I've looked to today's devotional, um, I'm just having a hard time saying it any differently than what he says. He says it in such a, a profound way. I want to just read it for you today and allow you to meditate on, on these words and uh, think about them and apply them, apply them to your life. Uh, the, the selection is entitled, Be Numbered Among the Searchers, and the uh, scripture text is John 1, 14. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The operative word of the verse is among. He lived among us. He donned the costliest of robes, a human body. He made a throne out of a manger and a royal court out of some cows. He took a common name, Jesus and made it holy. He took common people and made them the same. He could have lived over us or away from us, but he didn't. He lived among us. He became a friend of the sinner and a brother to the poor. He touched their sores and felt their tears and paid for their mistakes. He entered a tomb and came out and pledged that we would do the same. And to all of us frightened ones, he shared the same message. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. John 14, 1 and 3. And how do we respond as human beings? Some prepare, pretend that he doesn't exist. They occupy themselves with what they find in their part of the world and uh, ask no questions about the Creator. Others do hear him, but they don't believe him. It's not easy to believe that God would go so far to take us home. But then a few decide to give it a try. They venture out of their corners and peek up through whatever opening they can find. Each day they look toward the sky. They, like Simeon, wait for and look forward to the day Christ returns. They know there is more to life than what they found here, and they want to be ready when Christ comes. Be numbered among the searchers, won't you? Live with an ear for the trumpet and an eye for the clouds. And when he calls your name, be ready. Look up, and he will reach down and take you home when Christ comes. And today I just want to encourage you to be among the searchers, to be among those who are anticipating the return of Christ. And uh, you can do that by having peace in your heart and knowing that your sins are forgiven. And uh, you can have that forgiveness by confessing your sins to God Believing on Him, on Jesus' name for salvation. And God promises to give you forgiveness and promises to give you a new life. So I encourage you, be among the searchers today. Look for His return. Live like heaven is real. And I trust that you'll have a wonderful day today. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Father, thank you for sending Jesus to this earth as a baby. And thank you, Father, for the plan of salvation. And thank you for the victory that you give us through Jesus. Father, help us today to constantly be searching for you, to have open ears and open hearts and open eyes, to see and to listen and to feel and to hear what you have for us today. And Father, may we always be searching and looking for your return, and may we be telling others about your soon coming return as well. Father, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you are accomplishing in us today. We give you praise, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.